What happened to Ashley? How'd she die? I killed her. You killed her? Yeah. How did she die? Just kill her, and then she died. Did you hit her? Yeah. How'd you hit her? How? Yeah. Did you have hands to do that? You are now looking at Ming Ming Chen, one of the most cold-blooded mothers to ever be filmed in an interrogation room. January 9, 2017 in Jackson Township, Ohio, Ming Ming's five-year-old daughter Ashley goes missing and her father calls 911. Jackson Township, please. Uh, yes, uh, I, I need some help. Yeah, what's going on? I, I can't find my daughter. Please. When's the last time you've seen her? This afternoon, probably. She's wearing a purple winter coat. Okay, and you haven't seen her in five hours? About, yeah. I I mean, she was there sleeping, I, I mean, you know. Where was she sleeping at, in the restaurant? Leon owns a family-run restaurant called Ang's with his wife. This is where they claim Ashley was last seen. Yeah, yeah, she, she was sleeping there, and I picked up my older daughter from school. We all saw her sleeping there, so, and, you know, we went to work, and, you know, we let her sleep, we, and we got busy, and then, after we got busy, you know, we started cleaning up, and, and then, you know, we opened the door, to, and she's not here. Hold on, what's your name? Liang, Liang Zhao. Is there any suspicious people that came in at all? Do you think she could have no, woke no, no, up and there, ran out somewhere? I, I have no idea. I mean, she was sleeping in the back. It's kind of hard to say when she was... None of your employees have missing. seen her? There's only two of us, just myself and my wife. There's nobody else in the restaurant. When we pick... When, I'm sorry. When I met with myself, okay? When I went to pick up my daughter, when we came back. Leon continues to struggle while trying to keep his story straight when under pressure. My Myself and my daughter, not my wife. My wife was here the whole time. Okay, we came back. So your wife hasn't seen her since around the 4 or 5 o'clock either? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, I mean, when we're out here, I mean, uh, she's not sure before we got busy, uh, usually we get these around 4 or 5 o'clock. That's the best time we can, you know, like, That's uh, right. what's your, um, what's your, you what's your daughter's name? Ashley, Ashley. Okay. All right, my officer's outside if you want to go and meet my officer at the door, okay? After this call, a statewide manhunt ensued, but the following day came terrible news. Ashley's lifeless body was located hidden in her parents' restaurant. We will now watch the interrogations of both of Ashley's parents as they reveal the gruesome truth about what actually happened. Become one of Darkumentary's first subscribers and hit the bell for more. The interrogation begins with Leon immediately telling the investigators what happened on the day. Uh, what happened yesterday morning? Okay, yesterday morning, um, we got up. 38 to press go to a I took to the first eat. I came back. When I came back, uh, my wife was very angry with Ashley because she peed on her diaper and she pooped on her diaper. I know this doesn't sound like a big deal, but she's five years old and she's not behind train training like ever a thing. Uh, I'll explain that a little later. Uh, but so that got my wife angry and, you know, a few things like you know you're just old you know you're five years old you still don't know how to go potty and cooking and uh well she had, my wife was in the room and she was outside in the living room and after she pooped that potty in the diaper you know my wife knows that she had issues with potty training so she was going to find but then she took off her diaper uh, again so that got my wife angry when you're five years old, you know, you still don't have to potty. And my wife got angry and uh, hit her head on the carpet, you know, two times. And initially she was breathing. She was still breathing then. And did you did you watch? Did you see your wife do it? Yeah. Okay. So, right then she wasn't breathing? No, she was breathing. She was breathing. And you know, uh, I was like, okay, so she's still doing, she's okay. Uh, was there any blood or anything? No, there's no blood. Okay. Was she walking? I mean, no, she wasn't walking. She was breathing, but she was lying down. And I thought she was going to come out of it a little bit, you know? So she stopped. But I didn't realize she stopped. I thought she was breathing normally now. Because she was uh, gasping, like, like it was, it was. I can't really remember or recall exactly what, but it was a lot heavier than normal. Um, so it sounded like a snore almost. Okay. 
so at that point she stopped. I thought, okay, so she's pretty normal right now. So didn't really pay attention to it. And then a little later, I uh, went to, you know, hold her and just to feel right. And I checked her heart and stopped beating. So I started panicking and I tried to do CPR on her, you know, try to breathe, try to breathe in her mouth and give her chest compression. I don't exactly know how long I did that for. I know I did it for pretty darn long time, maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour, something like that. And that's when we realized she's gone. I can try and, and, you know, I told my wife, so kind of, you know, I think if I just realized it sooner, that, you know, when she stopped breathing that snore sound, her heart stopped beating at that time. Maybe I could have stopped the pressure then that would have saved her or something. I, I don't know. I know that I didn't start directly right after because I thought she was being normally dead. When she was on the floor, you thought she was breathing? Yeah, but she wasn't doing that snoring sound anymore. I thought she was breathing normally. And I thought she was going to come out of it in like a, in a little bit. So how, long, how long did she lay on the floor after? After hitting the carpet? Yeah. Um, two, three minutes. Uh, making that sound. Uh, no, it was much longer than that. Ooh. We actually uh, took her to the bathroom uh, because she was vomiting. We took her to the bathroom and vomited, and she vomited. So we vomited in the toilet, and then she got vomit all over. So we took her and rinsed her off in the bath, take her out. So she must have been breathing like that for about a good five minutes at least. Okay. At least, there's am sure like the, the, the screen stuff came out. Um, I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like greenish, like light like, like greenish tint. Out um, of her vomit? Yeah. So we took her to the bathroom and we kind of thought maybe get rid of that. And then she got it all over herself. So we ripped her off, took her to um, the living room to dress her. And she was still breathing like that for a little while. So Overall, probably five. Were her eyes open? She was, was she responding? Yeah, she was like, like you know. Um, overall, she, after she hit the carpet, she was only breathing for another five to ten minutes. You know, considering the, you know, took her to the bathroom, uh, had vomit on her, rinse her off, then put clothes on her, and then let her sit there for a little while, and then I noticed that she started. You know, she was breathing regularly again, so when I, uh, when I thought she was breathing regularly and then I uh, checked her, then I realized that she was crushed out, her heart stopped, stopped, and that's when I started doing compressions I did for a while, and then we started um, panicking. We didn't know what to do. Um, first thing that came to my mind was, I'm going to lose JoJo. And my family's not fall apart. Who's JoJo? My older daughter. My oldest daughter. Yeah. Did at any time did JoJo's at school? You or your wife tell each other to call nine one one. I told her to go pick up JoJo, and I was going to stay here and call nine one one. Who? Why would you pick JoJo up? Huh? Why would you pick JoJo up? I was going to tell her to go pick JoJo up, and I was going to call nine one one. Why it wasn't school wasn't over at that time, right? It wasn't early, right? No. Well, this is nine fifteen in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Does she not go full? No, no, she goes full day. I was I was gonna tell my wife to go pick her up, so I was gonna call down and tell her that, that you know it was an accident. So my wife went be there. The couple continued their work cooking food while Ashley's lifeless body was still in the restaurant. Leon goes on to explain how they tried to cover up the murder. So what happened? Um, you know, we talked about it. And talked about what? She says that, you know, we're both afraid. We're both afraid of what's going to happen if we call. Okay. I, I wanted to send her away so that you know, I'll be there. If someone gets in trouble, it'll be me. And she'll be okay. Both of us are in really big trouble. But yeah, I wanted to send her away and, you know, call the police. But then, you know, 
machine. Also, that's what I'm afraid of what's going to happen. If we did, I'm afraid of, we're going to lose our daughter, we're going to lose our family, uh, the restaurant, the house that we're getting, everything, everything in our lives that, you know, that we worked so hard for for the past six years. This is going to be gone. Okay. So that fear, uh, let us, you know, like it's an accident. So, okay, so what happened? I mean, she's lying there, she's not breathing. Uh -huh. well, what happened? We, we couldn't decide what to do, and uh, you know, after a while, we decided uh, both of us, I don't know exactly who came up with what, but you know. I should bring her to the restaurant so Jojo can see her. So Jojo, when you guys ask her, you know, like, I was thinking maybe that wasn't a good idea, but that was being thing clearly at the time. So, you know, bring her to the restaurant so Jojo can see her so that when we call, Jojo can say, oh, she was here at the restaurant and she left the back door at the restaurant instead of, you know, at the house. She accidentally got killed. So, where were you gonna put her? Or are you gonna put her at the restaurant so JoJo could see her? And, you know, at the room that she was doing way in, uh, she sleeps in there. So um, JoJo will see that she's sleeping there and can verify it. And you know, she's sick. So and even if you ask her to take a polygraph, I don't know, ask a six-year-old to take a polygraph, but a six-year-old wouldn't lie like that. And so we, we didn't want Joe to lie, so we want Joe to see Ashley there. Okay. So you get you take Ashley to the restaurant. How, how do you get Ashley from the apartment to the restaurant? Put her in a car seat. And we brought her inside and we just laid her there. And um, we just continue our work. The plan was for Georgia to come home to see her there to verify that she's there. And then I would hide her up in on top of the walk-in freezer and then when we call the police at night jojo could verify that she was there so did you um did you guys also make the noise for we're going out the back door where because jojo said she thought she heard a noise and her sister might went out the back door no no that jojo she's not a liar but she's six and when you lean her towards something, okay. that's where she goes. And, and she's not a liar. She doesn't lie to people, yeah. but, but she's six. When you lean, when you, when you point her in that direction, that's where she's going to go. Where was JoJo? Okay, so how long did you leave Ashley laying in the bed? Uh, uh, I got the restaurant at 10. Till about. Seven, six or seven. Okay. Six or seven. She was she was lying there. She was saw her, you know. And she said she can't tell the difference between someone that's no longer breathing and someone sleeping. You know what happened? And then I moved her up, you know, to the walk-in freezer, uh, put her in that uh, plastic container, the salt, so that she wouldn't stink. What kind of container was it? That was plastic, uh, like uh, uh, those bus, uh, bus uh, busting containers for like restaurants, and uh, that's that's what we're gonna call the police, and we we're hoping that you know the police will come here, look, and ask us, oh, we didn't expect this. We didn't know the, the procedure exactly what's going on. You know, we didn't know that I was gonna come down here. Take a polygraph. Uh, I was going to be asking so much questions. There was going to be so many people involved. If we knew that there was going to be like a hundred people searching for maybe even more, I don't even know. I I am so sorry. What what were your plans to do after after maybe we quit looking for it? Whatever. What, what were you going to do? We don't really know. Uh, there was three things. If I burn burn it, bury it, uh, or throw it in the ocean. Those are the only three things that we can think of. If, if, let's say that I went through with this 
and I didn't get caught. I'm going to be looking over my shoulder for I don't know how long. You know, because there's, there's a dead body there. You know, that I have to eventually get rid of. And if you put it in the ocean, the guys can watch it back. If you bury it, one of animals can get at it. Someone can find it. If you burn it, there's a chance that someone's going to see you because it's going to be a big flame. You're not going to do it during the day, and you're going to be doing it during the night. So when you're burning a big flame at night, someone's going to see you. We thought about all of this, and honestly, we we weren't really too sure on what to do after that. Was everybody at the store when you put it in the, the salt then? You mean everybody like my son, my wife, my daughter? Yes. Where was your daughter? My wife took my daughter to a front and uh, because she's feeding, so she told me that she was going to wait for a team. Her first tooth was about to come out. And that's when I you know, moved Ashley up there. We talked about places, and I say this is probably the best place to do it. You know, uh, it's well ventilated, I'm going to put salt in it. I'm not going to be worried about temperature because it's cooler up there. At this stage, Leon goes on to talk about how Jojo is a good daughter and how Ming Ming isn't a bad person. He then mentions how Ashley misbehaves almost as a way to pass blame. My wife, she's not a bad person. She's not. She's not. I mean, you know, I married her. I, mean, I wouldn't marry her if she was physically abusive in the beginning. Uh, you can see my daughter, my Jojo, she's six years old. We took care of both of us for six years. Not one time did my wife like physically abuse her, you know, out of anger or anything like that. You know, we, we spanked her, you know. Right. Yeah. Correct. Her. Yeah, yeah. She did something wrong. Yeah, but nothing like, you know, oh, left bruises on her, you know, all over the place that you found on Ashley. My wife is a good person. I, I know it's very hard to believe, you know, take Ashley, but look at Jojo. Look at Jojo, you know. She's a good, good person. She's a good mother. She just has problems. Uh, she has problems with them, actually, because uh, we got her when she was born. We didn't raise her. My mom raised her okay. for four years, and then uh, we got her back to the so she's fine. We raised, I only saw my daughter for a year, you know, she's fine, so only one that the life. More or less. I saw her once when she was like one and a half or about a month or two. But um, both of us, we know my wife had this problem in the beginning when she started reacting like this. Actually, not initially, not when she first came down, but she was fine. I'll, I'll explain that too. But when she first started being like this, to actually, I, I try to step in and stop it. When did, when did this start? Uh, when my mom started telling my wife that she was doing it wrong. She was raising Ashley wrong. And that kind of got to my wife. Because, you know, it's your own daughter. And then there's your mother-in-law telling you that you're not doing it right. You're not doing it what you're supposed to do. That's one thing. And another thing is that you look at your own daughter and she's, you got her, she's poor, she can't, she's not potty trained. She doesn't know her last name. She doesn't know if she's a boy or a girl. I know you can't verify that, but if you want, I can tell you, you can put me back on the machine and I can tell you that I'll tell you the truth about a plane thing. You can put me back on the machine and I can tell you that when I'm telling you these things that she doesn't, she's not potty trained. She doesn't know her last name. And she doesn't know if she was a boy or a girl when we got her when she was four. Why didn't you ever report the abuse to law enforcement? I was worried. I was scared. Scared that I was going to take my wife away. Well, how, how bad? I mean, what kind of abuse were we talking? It's not like initially so bad. If it was initially so bad, I would probably report it, but just, you know, it worked. Escalated? Yeah, and then at that point, I was like, she got so much bruises on her. I can't call it in anymore. Well, would she twist her arm? Would she kick her? Would she hit her? How, yeah. how, what What happened? Oh, pretty much all of it. You know, twist her arm, uh, kick her, hit her, 
but never touched JoJo. No, not once. That's her trigger, you know. My, my mom tells my wife that she's raising kids wrong, and then every single time Ashley does something that reminds my wife of what my mom's dad, like, you know, her doing something not a five-year-old should do, that's pretty much a trigger. It's like, you know, like um, Ashley would, it, it, it's weird, she would go like this, I'll show you the yeah. I, I don't have anyone to say and like normal, but before she was there like this, I don't know why. I, I don't know where you get. I don't know what my. I, I don't know how Ashley did that, but my mom never corrected her. That this is not how a person should stand. She would stand like this, on one feet, the other one would heel up, and hands like this. We told her to put both feet down, both hands down, and she would just do that pretty much. We correct her. She would do it. Correct her and do it. She would do it. A, a lot of things. There's a lot of things that we felt that my mom had her for four years that she should correct these things because they're not normal. So you know, every single time when Ashley would do something like that, it would trigger my wife because my wife would be reminded of what my mom said. We will now take a look at Ming Ming's confession and how she is cold when answering the detective. She just doesn't like normal girl, normal kid. She do everything bad. After that, her heat mother fight my husband. Say a lot of bad words. You know why? Because she want to leave. She doesn't want to stay with us. I, I tell you all the truth, sir. I knew you did. Their parents told us everything. It's nothing. Do you know why now we have a restaurant, we have a house? It's all from my, me and my husband. Right. No one else. Right. You, you worked hard at that house. And when Ashley almost four, not four, um, like, like three maybe, sure. um, his parents want to take Ashley to a China. And they came here, made a passport. Do you know what did she say? She had a lot, a lot of bad words. Do you know why they say that? Because they don't like me. Because I don't have a screen card. I don't have green light. It wasn't my fault. That's okay. Because I, I love my husband. I don't care about that. And we done the passport as we go to the China. And I talked to my husband. Say when Ashley come back, we bring Ashley back here. Because Ashley almost four. Jojo five. They're not together like four years. Mm -hmm. They're not close together, you know, not too close. And we want her back here soon. And then you ask me some questions. I, I can tell you the whole story. Okay. I can't. Because I don't know how. What happened there? How did I? I'll kill her. You killed her? Yeah. How did you kill her? I don't just kill her. We're at this point right now, okay? But I know there's some information here. And, I, and my job, like I told you before, is to try to find out what happened to her. And I can hear somebody say, I told you what, what happened. Was it an accident? What happened? I want my husband to do that to me. The all, you know, the all the stuff is me. What happened? I don't know what happened. What, what happened to that, Ashley? 
kill her. Okay, what what happened? I understand what happened. That's what I'm trying to figure out what happened, Ashley. Chen was then sentenced to 22 years in prison after pleading guilty to child endangerment, evidence tampering and involuntary manslaughter. Liang was sentenced to 12 years after testifying against his own wife. Doing some research on Google Maps I found out the location where the restaurant once was became a children's hospital. Become one of Documentary's first subscribers and like the video, thank you.